You know, in my business class, the first day I asked my students, how many of you want to work for yourself or start your own business? Half of the class would raise their hands. They want to work for themselves. They want to determine their hours. They want to be in charge of their own destiny. So given that, what can we as a college do? Hence the entrepreneurship program. Going into this, I always knew I wanted to start a business. Uh, it wasn't until we really got going that I was able to fine tune what it is I wanted to do. So this helped me develop my concept of what kind of business I wanted and then so much more in the implementation that I would never have been able to just Google or think of myself. So it really gave me the foundation and structure I needed to be able to start my own business. I'm a small business owner already and I just feel like I need more education to make me a better business owner. The camaraderie also, especially because you know, we are all in the business program together, and so we support each other through it. And we end up networking and meeting other people. I mean, just from this class alone, it's gonna benefit my business in the future just from the people that I've met. We want to provide our students with the breadth and range of expertise that we're able to tap into from our community. I operate a restaurant in 100 cities in five states. It's been a great journey. I can tell you that uh, I've started it just like you. We want to pull in experts from the field to our campus to share their stories with our students. How did I get into business? What did it take for me to win my first contract? How did I actually acquire the resources that I need? And the next day, my wife said, well, why don't we just start our own company? So we, we ended up doing that. I drove all around to all my customers this morning. I just put my job and 100% of my customers followed me and it wasn't easy. So all those questions that we want to pose to successful entrepreneurs, we want them to share with our students. Thank you very much for listening. Our intent here at CRC, particularly those in the business department, is to pull the students into the classroom, get them to have an entrepreneur idea, which they may already have, but to see how they can actually transform their idea into a viable business concept. So today we were uh, presenting our business plan presentations. So throughout the course of the, the class, we were learning the skills to build a business plan and we've been building our own for our, our businesses. Uh, today was just the presentation of uh, demonstrating what is in our business plan and how we plan to execute it. Ready, get this new term started that targets people that have dietary restrictions as well as food allergies. We will do SACMOFO events, fairs, festivals, things like that that will put us out there. You need to know things like the four P's, product, price, promotion, and placement. Um, the SWOT analysis, your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Um, they help you with analyzing your competitors, which is really important when writing a business plan. We also ask questions. We also provide commentary. We ask them to actually think about areas that they haven't thought about or that there are holes, if you were, in their thinking. And so the intent is to actually further educate, further inform, further provide them with the tools to starting and launching their own business and managing their own business. When I started this class, for me, a business plan was like pulling teeth. It just did not come easy for me. I don't think I would have one without this class, honestly. And now that I have it, I feel I am so much more prepared for my future than I ever was, that all that fear and doubt and the fear of success is gone. I'm ready to move on. <laughs>